Welcome everyone to a 90 second crash course in the GoTo Shell series where we try to cover your questions in under a minute and a half. Reminder, all videos and demonstrations use Bash version 4 as the shell. And with that, here we go. Today's question is, how do I add debugging to my scripts? The first thing to remember is that we're dealing with shell and shell scripts. There, there aren't really any debugging facilities. So we're gonna go back to tried and true basics of just print lining things, you know, echoing things out. Uh, I need to show you some setup here. We have a file here with some data in it. All it has are some names, okay? And we have three scripts that we're gonna run. I don't want you guys to get the impression that we're talking about good, better, and best as we proceed. Um, although, for what I'm showing today, I, I do believe it's going in that flow. Uh, but again, this is all you're really gonna have access to is print lining things out. So with that, let's start the timer and I'll show you those really fast. So all of these programs do the exact same thing. They're going to check to see if the debug flag is true and they're going to start spitting out lines when that happens. The only real work here is one command. It tries to find a name that we pass in as positional number one right here from the data file that we have. That, that's the entirety of the program and as you can see it's kind of clunky to read. It's a little obnoxious to try to read. And when we run it, you know, if I say, Kyle, yeah, I'm in there. But if I say someone who's not in there, then we get the warning, okay? So with the debug turned on, we would, we would see more than that. There we go. So we see more lines when we do that. Okay, that, that's all there is to it. But as you saw, it was a little clunky. So another way to do this is to use the and logic and the or logic. So take away the entire if construct. This at least puts it on a single line. All right, so we have our basic test case here, still looking for that string. Then we have it still going to standard error. So kind of closer to what we want, looks a little prettier. But to really dry it up, meaning do not repeat yourself or don't repeat yourself for DRY, just make your print debug a function and then echo out whatever you send to it, okay? So that's all we have for today. Hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, if it was, please give it a thumbs up. If you feel like I missed anything, let me know. We can address it in the comments or through annotations or if I just really blew it, uh, I can always record these. If you uh, can subscribe, that helps me get these videos out because obviously I don't have any sort of advertising and I, I like knowing that people are getting some benefit out of this. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.